Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Physics Surgery Quickies and I brought forward to you an interesting concept of delayed sunset or advanced sunset. You can actually reverse the two concepts uh, in situations where the light gets refracted from the atmosphere of a planet, um, in this case Earth. Okay, so in this situation, we'll try to see a smart solution to calculate the angle of deviation that this light ray suffers. And also as we move along, try to understand how the position of the observer or the height of the observer also changes the way we look at the sunset. Okay, so this will be rather interesting along with the method that we learn to gain an advantage in a JE examination. We'll also top it off with four practice problems at the end on a similar concept. Okay, so it's a very practical application that JE in the future can actually explore. Also, this concept has been discussed as a diagram in the NCRT textbook, you could see at the right bottom, there is a picture that I picked from your NCRT textbook. And uh, the problem here is modeled around that picture. Okay, so let's try to go ahead. If you want to unbiasedly try this question, I would request you to pause the video here, try this one for one or two minutes, and do come back for the concept and the solution and also the four practice problems at the end, okay, right? And as is the case with the modern JE advanced examinations, the answer here has to be written in a numerical value with two decimal places truncated or rounded off, okay? So let's move ahead. Assume that the atmosphere above Earth extends up to a height of 100 kilometers. Atmosphere has a uniform refractive index of 1.01. .01. And the Earth's radius is given as 6,400 kilometers. Find the angle of deviation in radians suffered by the sun rays at a time an observer on Earth sees sunrise. Okay, right. So this is the question. I hope you have given it a try. I'll move ahead with the actual situation and then we'll try to take up the solution. Okay, so in actuality, the Earth's atmosphere doesn't have a uniform refractive index. There will be a layers of atmosphere. We have troposphere, ionosphere, etc., where the refractive index keeps changing. So the ray actually goes along a curved path. OK, so this is an idealized version. So let me give you a picture. So before we move on to the concept, uh, a humble request, if you take away something from this particular video, uh, I would request you to give it a back, give it back. And the best way is to give it a like and liked videos get propagated and the channel gets a help. So just pause the video here, give it a like or at the end of the video, don't forget to give it a like. So once the number of likes reach 750, uh, I would upload the next video, but definitely. Okay, so, uh, and thanks for all the support unconditionally you have been giving and providing uh, the love for the channel. Okay, so let's move forward. So the actual atmosphere has a variable refractive index. So you could see this is Earth. There are different layers that are shown in this particular picture at which the true position could be below the horizon. So there's a person here. Uh, this horizontal line drawn from the person is called his horizon. Horizon or horizontal line. Okay. So even though the sun is below this position, because the light rays get refracted at multiple layers of this atmosphere, the person will perceive that the sun is already above the horizon. And that means he thinks that there is a delayed sunset. Sun is already set in reality, but he will see still be able to see the sun. So this is the idea. So what he has done in the actual question is he's removed this variable refractive index to make it a JE advanced level problem and assume that there is only one refraction that takes place. So once it enters atmosphere in our problem, it will be a straight line reaching the person. Okay, so with that concept, let's move forward. So a lot of things on the board, as I always say, don't read things on your own. There is a nice trick also that will shorten the solution. I'll explain. So just follow my lead, look at where I'm pointing and try to carefully listen to the explanation. You'll all be fine. Okay. So this is the ideal case that we are referring to in case of a uniform atmosphere. So I'm assuming this is our earth on the left side of your screen of radius R and the atmosphere, which is shown in pink here is at a height h from the surface, uniform spherical atmosphere. So I'll draw a triangle here and assume the person is in the top here at this point and is trying to view along the horizon or horizontal line. So even though the sun is below the horizon, the light ray is assumed to be refracted from here and becomes comfortably along this line so that the eyes of this person 
uh, whose uh, his eyes have been taken at the ground level because in the question he has not mentioned any height of the person who is watching so that also we'll see in the practice problem matters here the height of the person has been negligible uh, considered okay so along this line it will retrace it back and think sun is still not set okay so this is the angle so if i draw a normal at that place right this is the line which is the normal at from this point to this point this distance is r plus h we have a nice little right angle triangle here so this r plus h this r this would be the pythagoras theorem wise this particular value okay and angle of incidence is this entire thing i wantedly wrote it as r plus delta where r is the angle of refraction Okay, so delta itself is the angle of deviation that we are supposed to find out. Okay, so there are two ways of solving it. Okay, so I have uh, not given the first way. I'll just give you an oral explanation. People would have written it as mu of outside, which obviously is one vacuum, into sine of i. I is r plus delta. They would have written it as mu plus delta mu, which is the uh, refractive index of the atmosphere. In this question, it was given 1.01. .01 therein lies our opportunity it is a very small change that small change is something that we use as a trick in this problem to shorten our solution okay so mu plus delta mu into sine r one way would have been to continue solving this by expanding this sine a plus b and then uh, use the binomial approximations and all but i'll take that opportunity that the delta mu that change which is given as 0 0.01 which is just one percent so for any small percentage changes the we take an opportunity to use calculus okay so when's the delta mu which is one percent here is given the value of the dr that means the change in this value r itself can be uh, taken as the value of delta so that's the opportunity we'll take so this uh, appreciable value of the snell's law can be written as change in mu sin r d of means change small differential change is zero Okay, so this is the differential form of the Snell's law that I wrote at one particular position. So if you expand this using UV rule, you get d mu into sin r and mu cos r dr equal to zero. Remember, our dr is the angle of deviation, obviously mod because it's decreasing here. So I want a positive number. So this is what rearrangement does. What is the value of tan r? For that, we have this triangle. Tan r is opposite by adjacent. So I have wrote, written this one. Most interesting thing here would be a further approximation that h square, which he gave it as only 100 kilometers, remember? H is 100 kilometers. So this number dominates this number. So further approximation makes this one. So it gives you a nice little expression, which you would have got had you started from this expression and go gone ahead with binomial approximation. But I firmly believe that any small changes, even in other chapter problems like your Boyle's law, all those things where volume changes by a very small amount and you have a product of two quantities, this kind of approximation or a quick calculus method will help you same time. Okay, so once you substitute radius as 6400 and H has 100 kilometers, remember all these are pure numbers ratio. So this DR has to be in radians because it's SI units. So you'll end up getting this very quick calculations. You need to just know square root of two in this case. And according to the J rules, you have to either truncate it to the second decimal place or you have to uh, ensure that there is a rounding off. So you could write this as 0 0.05 to 0 0.06 radians you could add one more digit if requested by the uh, examiner so this is the problem i hope you understood the method let me move forward to the practice problems okay right so this is practice problem one on a similar lines okay even though it doesn't look like air and atmosphere and all so the logic is similar you could see there is a uh, air and glass uh, interface and the, there is a light beam that comes in and then you end up having some refraction that takes place. So he's going to talk about the apparent internal radius as seen from the side. So there is a person watching this. There's an apparent radius that he will see, R star, which you have to show. This is the interesting part. Second question is that it is independent of this capital R. Okay, so the, the outer radius of this class, which is going to be interesting. We'll use this logic indirectly in the practice problem too, as to how the sun will look like for a person who is watching uh, due to the refraction. So uh, please do comment your response along with the timestamp below. I'll come up with a solution in the physics surgery quick case. Okay, so here's the practice problem too, which I believe is an extension of this one. Okay, so the same idea of a person watching a sun that is actually setting, uh, there will be curved path that will be followed by these rays, and the eye will think that the sun is here. So instead of just looking at it as a point, if I take the size of the sun also, you need to tell me which of the 
right side options are the most appropriate frontal view of the sun's disk as seen by the person okay so will it be the same circular disk will it be um, kind of wide end or flat one or will it be widened in the vertical direction that you have to think so widened horizontally or widened vertically so that will fit the view of the person so again comment your response along with the timestamp i'll respond in the comments below okay so that's practice problem number two let's move on to practice problem number three this i picked from pathfinder again a question related to the horizon and small angles okay so first and foremost uh, this one you have to judge whether it is a concept of ray optics or wave optics which, which i'll not reveal because it's a good question you need to be able to understand by reading it very carefully okay so again respond your uh, answer below with the timestamp fourth problem is a special one before i go on to the fourth problem let me give you some nice practical snippet okay there is a delayed sunset due to different line of sight also which we didn't use in the original problem in the original problem we said delayed sunset is due to refraction but we firmly place the observer at the ground level imagine the observer is actually not at the ground level the best possible difference in the positioning of person can be considered when he is at the ground floor of the tallest building burj khalifa and the topmost floor okay now here i am not taking the uh, refraction into account that is another uh, complete uh, phenomena so only if i take the line of sight difference at the bottom of the burj khalifa to the top of burj khalifa you end up having a difference of 3 minutes between the time of sunset at the ground and at the top which is interesting because during the week of ramadan where they have to uh, break their fast in the evening right a muslim who is living in the top and bottom will actually have two different times uh, of uh, breaking their fast interesting right 3 minutes is a very possible difference so let's design our practice problem 4 on this account yeah we can't be at the bottom and the top of uh, burj khalifa so we'll try to make the height difference as the height of the person itself okay so a very practical uh, phenomena that next time you visit a beach and watch a sunset is uh, something like this right so if you are at the beach imagine you are uh, just sleeping on the beach and watching a sunset like this this is a time elapsed video where fastened so that you can view the sunset so imagine the sun is about to set okay and you fall in love with that view and you want to watch it for a bit more of a time then i ask you to stand up suddenly and once you stand up there is a height difference between the line of sight while you are sleeping and while you are standing and you can see the sun actually set for a delayed response okay so yeah burj khalifa long height so you had 3 minutes here it will be in the terms of seconds for a person of 6 feet height okay so let's design a problem based on that logic okay right as the practice problem 4 right so Uh, this i picked from resnik which is a very practical and interesting problem you draw a diagram and apply the concept that i have taught in the video you will to get to the answer and uh, here you could see the person's height is taken right and the time elapsed between the two positions of line of sight uh, is considered and this is also a way to practically estimate uh, the radius of earth right so the curvature of the earth causes this particular phenomena and therefore you can estimate and estimation comes to a very good value uh, very very small error will be there we already know it is very close to 6400 kilometers you may not actually get with this information as 6400 but you'll get a very close value which is interesting by just enjoying near the beach and climbing up and having uh a stopwatch in your disposal you will be able to estimate the radius of earth which is a very interesting thing so comment your response of what you got as the radius of earth by assuming the uh, time of the day is 24 hours and elapsed time is 11.1 second uh, please do tell me the value of the radius of earth you get from this problem okay so i hope you enjoyed all the Uh, concept and the practice problems so you can also post all these problems in the discord server uh, which has already cost 2.5k subscribers of serious students so you can go to the optics channel and place these problems and have a nice discussion with the students there and what is discord and all that if you are new i have already uh, created a video to help the beginners so please do check it uh, the link of the description uh, of the video is in the description below or on the i button above so please do go ahead and help yourself and apart from the quickies there are multiple series that are running in this channel which help students 
streamline their preparation. So only four I have written here, many more are there. And what they are, all those things are in the description below. So please do uh, take up and watch three to four videos every day if you're new to this channel to actually uh, catch up with others who are already ahead of you, right? And I firmly believe that uh, the love that I am showing to the channel, you also should be reciprocating and you have been doing it. I'm very grateful to that. So please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Watch two or three videos and then you can decide whether to stay subscribed or not. Okay, so thanks a lot and see you in the next awesome video.